Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. I finally let go of my idea to construct a windbreak. I did some calculations with the current trees and uh, it will not really make a big difference by stacking those bushes on top of each other it will not help me to be closer to where I want to be. Also I finally got some antihistamine and now I am a little bit drowsy but uh, I'll get used to that as well. I moved the chicken tunnels into the shade but still they are exposed in the middle of the day. That's why I have that sheet of plastic over there. It's uh, going towards the 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 plus Celsius. The gardener is still out working very hard. This is the chick the hen with the little ones, six. And to my surprise today, there is already an egg in that corner over there. So it's just amazing how nature works or how we genetically modify these chickens to overproduce. This is their site and they have churned up churned it up quite a lot. Next door are the ducks much less interference with scratching and uh, hauling things from under the plants. Another few days and all will be yellow and brown. Things change within 10 days. I have this 40 millimeter pipe irrigation line from the cistern pump over there. Bring it from the creek this way and then down all the way to the end of the farm. This is now the time to get it into the ground. I have been toying with several options. I decided not to do the hard one but the easy one. The hard option was to follow the contour where the line is now and dig a small trench, drop the pipe into the tr trench, backfill it and it's protected from fire and from the sun and from movement. What do you have? Show us. Okay. Well done. Are you proud? Okay, it's not a chicken, it's a bird, a laughing pigeon, a love, laughing duck, a uh, dove. Now I will 
change this. Let's go to the beginning. The cistern is down there. The pump under the white canvas. The water get pumped up to that madronio, the strawberry tree. And then the line follows the contour. I will change that. Okay, I've buried it already here from the pump up here. There it sticks out. Then it goes. I'll open here, put a T junction in. Cut it, put a uh, valve in there. So this is the madronio, the strawberry tree. If I have a valve there with a 32 millimeter attachment, should I need the water, I can attach it quickly and it'll be fine. So it will end here. Then all this pipe will go into the T-junction and then instead of me trying to make a trench on that steep elevation I'll do it in the footpath. I follow this line and I've also watched again the video about the roots and how trees communicate and I want to stay away from the roots at least something communicating well if we humans struggle it will go to the left of that chicken house and then it will tie in there to where I just come from I am very relieved that I have decided this. It will make my life much easier. Great, that will start in two days. I will use the, the, the frost ripper. It's easy to make a small trench. Stick the pipe in, put some danger tape on top of it backfill it and everything is cool I'm also not too concerned about the change in pressure if I bring the main supply line lower and longer drip lines because I now separate the farm into two east and west of the creek and only water one of them at a time so the pressure is ample that is good uh, maybe i also have to report on the oyster mushroom cemetery unfortunately it was a cemetery and nothing came from it i lost This is a cross between a blackberry and a raspberry. And um, it's basically a fat blackberry. And this is a water shoot. And this is the original stem. And just to show on a water shoot there is no fruit or flower and then on the normal stem is quite a lot the option is to remove the water shoot which i don't want to do now because i want to use this as cuttings in autumn just a very good reminder how these things work. Water shoots on roses, they produce roses. 
and some lice. Cows for the ants. Interesting. These leaky weirs will receive a lot of upgrade. I want to make them higher and comp more compact, fill them with stones and even plant some vetiver and some cane in between. I look forward to that. A whole new world out here. We prepare ourselves. Till next time. Goodbye. Come Sky, show us. Sky. He's so proud. Good boy. Good job done. Okay. You also want some attention, okay.